The following video has suggestive adult language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I'm Michael, and I do game dev feedback of games that are new, or indie, or small, or weird, that I do nitpicky feedback. I am a big giant head that gives feedback and critique. Um, and my first critique is that uh, Cat Powered UFO, the title text, is a little bland. It's not, it's not spicy enough. It needs some wabi-sabi or wasabi or something. I love the wavy little continued new game text. That's great. Um, the, the, the little wave is wonderful with the yellow. Um, so I actually played this once before and I recorded it wrong and I messed it up and the levels were weird. So I have a little bit, I know a little bit what to expect. Um, so I'm going to try to get it right this time. Um, be you, except you're an alien. Well, I, I'm already pretty close to an alien. And you have a wife. Alien wife, obviously. Right. Speaking of alien wives, um, I think you might want to talk to... Uh, I work with Sai, and uh, she is a lovely woman who does great art, and you might want to talk to her about redoing some of your title credit arts, like the Cat Powered UFO's top screen. That could be a little bit spicier. Um, your alien wife is pregnant. You are the last two of your kind, of course. You are standing under the night sky. It's real romantic and stuff. All I get to choose is non. Ooh. I'm gonna go with no. Nah. Life is good. Yep. But then, of course, life can never be too good, right? That's the rule. All of a sudden, the space devil, which I really like. The pixels here, um, they have a lot of character, is what I would say about the pixels. Uh, some people really try and get every pixel, you know, super polished to the point that it, they polish it down too much. And I, I, I really like that the pixels have a good kind of texture to them. Um, also, the music is really nice. And then, of course, that sound, the sound effects are really good. <laughs> I'm the goddamn space devil. Remember, we had a language warning. I told you, don't, don't, don't. And now for my most diabolical space ski. <laughs> I'll steal your alien girl and take her to another dimension. Then I'll raise your child to be space evil. <laughs> F you, space devil. He beams up your wife. You'll pay for this, space devil! Okay. So, uh, I would love to hear a really good sinister laugh sound effect for this car. Like, <laughs> um, you know, so really, you can't ham it up too much in this situation. Um, get, get, see if you can hire Bill Shatner to do it. Although he doesn't like me anymore. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. That bastard. You know the space devil will already be several dimensions away, obviously. You know only one way to get him. To rescue your wife and to get revenge. Oh god, yes. Um... The, the music is kind of an allusion to the Star Wars. It's kind of got a... It, I, I like this. The, the changes in the music are really good that you've got a bunch of different ones. Involves involving a lot of damn cats. Also, you hate cats. Well, of course I hate cats. You actually hate cats? This was just meant to trigger you. So you are trying to troll people. I get that. By the way... This is developed by... All I know about the developer is that they're called The Sneak. S-N-E capital K. That's all I know. Um, I mean, you gotta be some kind of psychopath to not like cats, right? Maybe I am. Oh, well, good to know we got a real life... I'm not a serial killer. I'm a big giant head who makes critiques and nitpicks and just generally is a butt. Oh, fine then. You 
don't you want to know, know why you need cats? All right, I'll humor you, sure. Okay. Interdimensional spaceship, that's good, cool. I like, I like that. Cool. Oh, there you go, cool story, right? Right, cool story. Okay. So yeah, this is... I, I really like this. I, I wish the spaceship were... I see, I'm seeing that writing on it. I don't know what that is. I wish the spaceship were a little bit... Uh, I guess the word I'm looking for is zazzy. Um, but uh, I love that the grass changes when you walk up to it. That's great. Not a lot of games would do that, especially a pixel game. So that's really cool. And the shadows look really nice, too. Um, so this is this is nice. This is a nice presentation for this. I want to get that thing. It's glowing. Must must be that I come back later. Nice little transition there with the zoom in. with the. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called when you do a horizontal um, vertical movement. I'm not... I'm not sure what that kind of transition is called. It's a big bird! A big bird Well, that's weird, and you should feel bad. I'm gonna say you're the one that should feel bad. Whoa. That was non-productive. Let's try it again. Well, that's weird. And you should feel bad. Uh, yeah. Can I help you? I would love to, but I need an A. For reasons. But let me tell you, I have made a game called Egg Game, just FYI. That's a sort of tangential thing, but uh, you might want to know that I'm kind of an egg guy at this point. So I think we might be able to make a deal at some point. Uh, wanted. It reads Wanted. Well, I saw that. Dead or Alive. The Skeleto Bandito. Love it. Love it. We're going to get him. We'll get him. Well, this guy, this guy looks like Ringo to me. He looks like a beetle. Not like an insect, but an actual musician. You seem nice. I'm writing you into my will. Sure hope I don't die soon. Really? Your will? That's a little... That's a, a bold first move. Uh, I, I would like to see that in a rom-com where someone just says that right off the beginning. I'm writing you into my will. That's like a bold first step. It's an opening gambit. It's a little... Yeah, man, why wouldn't I? Well, again, I I think you might not want to because it's a little awkward to just give away stuff to strangers. Just my opinion. Okay, well, let's see what happens if I say the other thing. Wait, why are you standing here? What? I'm obtuse. I definitely am obtuse. So... But I don't know why being obtuse gets you even more in his good graces. That's pretty weird. Okay, boss. I paid to blow up these here rocks. But I ain't until I get my damn sandwich. So who would... Anybody who... As much as I'm a butt who says mean things and is a jerk, I would never say you're lazy in this situation. The question is, what's on the sandwich? That is absolutely what you want to focus on. Oh, I could have spent a lifetime explaining this sandwich. Every delicious detail is etched into my brain. Uh, I'll continue. The bread. Baked by the gods themselves. This, is, this sandwich sounds like a religious experience. And then there you go, drippings of the gods. I don't know, I'm not too into drippings. I never liked uh, Pollock. I thought Pollock was kind of... I felt like that was a gimmick. You feel me? Beelzebub, the cheese. The pickles. Taking the testicles of an angel. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder whether they're sweet pickles or uh, uh, salty pickles. Not that I'm that curious what angel testicles taste like. I'm just curious what style of pickle we're talking here. The lettuce. Stolen leaves from the forbidden tree. 
the what is beetroot? I've never had beetroot in a in a sandwich. I've never had that before. Apparently, it comes from seven. I'm a beetroot virgin. I've never had any beetroot before, so I don't know. Uh, And I'm basically 70 years old, so there you go. Um, carrot, a pleasure of which words cannot explain. Eggs, as the rift... Oh, so the sandwich has eggs! Maybe if I get the sandwich, I can steal some eggs. The onion, to speak of it is to weep deep joyful tears. Well, onions are for weeping. Bacon, for pigs. Pen only bacon. Mushrooms, sober ecstasy, more potent than any vice. Pineapple ripened from the excrement of the true, of the one true God? You, you ripen pineapple and excrement? I was not aware that that's a thing. The moisture, uh, well, towel moist. The chili. Satan himself would, uh-oh, his pants enjoy. Very, that's a suggestive word. This is a, if you're suggesting something. High feet long. That's a long sandwich. That's three, three point one four feet. Conforming precisely to the, please continue. The sandwich is a miracle. I will starve before you. Maybe I'll just get a donut. Not sure to see how you go. My big head has noticed that the text has gone over the end. I think that that is something that you should fix immediately. So yeah, I, I'm confused by this. Is this a little... This I feel like this is a secret or something. I don't know. It, it's just weird that there's this little... Alright, stop sign. What do you have to say? Oh, man. I sure, I sure wish I wasn't born with plenty of a stop sign. Yeah, I can feel that. I, I would not want to be a stop sign myself. He's bound to clear the rocks for me. I'm grateful to have such a hard work in council. I don't think he's gonna do it. You little face. I'll be out here in mere hours. Then where will you be? Wow, that's pretty harsh. It's, that's pretty. It's pretty serious. Strong words for a stranger. Okay, that's a barricade. Yeah, so, um, the barricades instantly remind me of Earthbound, which I think this is supposed to be, uh, sort of a, the goofy sax music and the, the kind of colorful text and all of that. I think this is supposed to be kind of an Earthbound inspired game, and I think you're doing a great job with that. It's a sign to fact that it was built. Meow, you get a cat. That's just irrefutable at this point. Well, I'm going to just refute it just because I can. Well, you can't refute that. Uh, well, I can refute what I want to refute. Meow. Do you have all the letters of meow? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Just let me take a look here. No, you don't. I thought maybe they're, they're, they wouldn't check. Uh, these are crystals, and I don't know what these are. Okay, the first time I played through this, I got confused by this building. Um, I happen to be a, a master of this game at this point, so I know that you can go behind the building. But that was a little tricky to get through the first time. Who could love a barricade more? Right, yeah, so when I got to this the first time, I thought, okay, I gotta figure out how to roll, and I was pushing buttons, and I was I was just jamming on the keyboard trying to figure it out, and then I went and searched around, and I looked around, and I spent a long time trying to figure it out. Then I realized that my perspective was wrong, a.k.a. You can just walk through the buildings, um, which was a little tedious, and I, I, 
I thought it might have been Nera or something. I wasn't sure. It's... Also, the hitboxes for picking up chicken nuggets is kind of confusing, because it's hard to know when you're... In ter as, as far as my big giant head is concerned, uh, I would say make the chicken nuggets a little bit easier to pick up. I'm just a perfectly normal guy. Nothing to say here. Indeed. Seems normal enough. Ever since the great nuggets shortage, chicken nuggets have been a currency anyone cares about. Interesting. Could you explain? Yeah, it's a pretty broken system, however. Storms of giant chicken nuggets blow around the city. People can just go out and find them. Well, that's... I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad system. Uh, a song. Can't figure something out? Maybe you should come back to it later. You might have unlocked a new ability at any time. So this sign... This sign probably could be moved. I feel like a hint right here in this area might be good. It might be a little too blunt to just sort of say, hey, um, you know, I would make some sort of obtuse comments about perspective and edges and so something. I would make some sort of a, a vague hint that you could walk through the building as opposed to hiding the hint over here. It, this is, people are, once you've gotten here, you've already, I mean, there you go. You've already figured it out. Uh, and I don't know, I guess, right, I guess what he's saying is, the sign is saying that you can't, you have to do something to get over this, um, barricade. So, it is a hint for the barricade that's over here, but I think the hint should be a little bit earlier in my big-headed, giant, intellectual, giant brain smart, super smart opinion. That's my super smart opinion as a big giant hit. Wise man once said, if you want to see your alien wife and unborn child again, you'll be finding a lot of cats. A wise man indeed. Do you have more advice? Oh, sure I do. What would you like to know? I'm gonna start with the, the obvious one. Why is everyone here so weird? Oh, well, that's simple. It's just a simple matter of oh, look at distractions. <laughs> and he ran away. <laughs> you can spell chats like this, and if you if you spell it wrong, okay, that's reasonable. That's fair. So have we seen, is this the same? It reads, Wanted, Dead or Alive. The Skeleto Bendito. Again, another one of those. I suggested that she and this city ensure against two devils. A giant disembodied head building a slime fortress in the middle of the road blocking traffic. They said I was mad. Well, who's laughing now? Well, I just laughed a little bit ago, so I I, I think I'm laughing. It's maybe who's the one who's laughing? Uh, this looks like something. See, look, I just pressed. I here we go. Here's an example of a big head comment. I just I pressed enter here. Give me the potion. I'm pressing enter. I'm pressing enter. Can I, uh, enter, enter, enter. There we go. Oh my goodness. A potion. It's your lucky day. I'll take it, thank you. I see that. Ooh. Got a chicken nugget. Lucky you. Luck had nothing to do with it, friend. M. There we go, a strange floating M. Take it. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll have, an, I'll have an M. If I could get another M, that would be good. I just hope it doesn't melt in my hands. 
Can I please save my identical twin? He was kidnapped by those two devils in the big head. Uh, what's in it for me? Hmm. Maybe my twin will teach you his secret technique. Oh, I like that. Novita! Those devils are sensitive about their mothers. Grab the big head by the dimples. It will mess him up. Okay, dimples? Alright, I don't know what a dimple is. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm going to go now. Okay, so I have some experience with the combat system. And let me tell you, I don't like it. It's... So the backgrounds are nice and the art is nice, and I like the little groovy sax song and all of that. So the presentation is good. Um, so I, the first thing I did was do sass. Tilting a foe can tell them to attack less item. Some foes can be tilted in multiple ways. This controller B. On the, so, so I tilt them. The first thing I did was tilt them on based on their looks and what you're supposed to do is their mother. Unspeakable about their mother. See, this is you could have different mother jokes. There are plenty of mother jokes. You could just you could just pop in some good mother jokes there. Little devil is tilted. Well, that's reasonable. Um. So Biff, prepare for a mini game to land your attack. What's everyone preparing for? Just go. <laughs> Press enter. Oh no, I I was too late. It's a good sound effect. The little devil lashes out. But misses. How exciting. By the way, if you did a little whoosh sound effect for the miss. So again, so this is a little annoying that it repeats this dialogue, and I think that the battle system needs to be trimmed a little bit because it gets a little repetitive. What? It was on the other side? What is that, random? That's never happened before. And I said it was repetitive, and then it just changed. Okay, well... We're gonna try again. Biff, wild swing. There we go. Got him. I've never seen it on the left side. I don't know what happened there. Um, I don't know if that's just random or coincidence or what. A little devil was involved, but uh, coincidences usually come from another department. Oh uh, yeah, well that's true. I am pretty good at insulting people, that's fair. There we go. See, yeah, it doesn't... You don't have to... That pause was weird. I, just trimming down the menus of the, the combat, it, it's a little repetitive. And then also, it's taking a lot of hits to beat this. This is the first enemy, and it, that was a lot of a lot of things. And then I gotta beat the same guy over again. It's a little tedious. I might, I might. That's true. I am a loser. Um, I'm just gonna say whatever and see if I can avoid this. No. Um, so I might I might do some fast forwarding here because it's just a little annoying to just go through this. It's it's a little repetitive. The combat needs to be spiced up pretty a lot, in my opinion. Okay, well that I just jammed on the enter button instead of reading anything, which well there's a big giant head. What is this thing here? New sass ability learned. Intellect scorns your foe's mind. I don't know anything about opponents who are full of themselves. I'm the most impressive giant head there ever was. Can I 
to get around this guy? His head's too giant for me to get around him! Oh my goodness, in a slime fortress blocking the road. I, an intellectual, ask why you would be intruding upon my fine slime fortress. Uh, why do you have a slime fortress anyway? Silence! Do you not know that I am a superior on account of my giant brain? We'll see who has the giantest brain, won't we? As a matter of personal pride, I have to beat this one. Okay, so this is getting pumped. Buffs your attack. Well, let's try that. Move left and right to slap. I took way too long. Mm. Yeah, well, that giant head is stupid. I'm the smart one. Let's do it again. Oh, okay. You are stupid giant head. I'm the smart one. I am very smart. That's why I'm slapping myself. Alright, sass. Obviously, intellect, which as you can see, overlaps the head. Just FYI. So that needs to be fixed. That's a glitch. Um, full of soiled blankets? Huh, I didn't know that that was an insult. Full of soiled blankets. I, I never heard that as an insult for uh, someone who's intellect. Um, okay. When I press enter again, it just reads. Oh. So I've played this uh, mini game. I don't know of a way to make it fast. I may have to fast forward this because it's so tedious. And yes, I am the smart one. There we go, I got it. I mean, it... Six, thank goodness, a critical. Boy, I needed that. Okay. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Welcome to enjoy my time in slime. I want to learn a secret technique. Your brother. And roll. Dramatic pauses. Again, get Bill Shatner on that. up here. Let me see if I can roll into this. Aha! Aha! Chicken nugget is... Cave chicken nugget is the best chicken nugget, I guess so. It still counts for the same amount. Why can't I roll through this? I want to see the sunglass cat! All right, there we go. No, enter did not work. Enter did not work. Enter did not work. Enter did not work. Can I, can I, can I get this? There we go. Oof. 
There we go. Well, so I got the first cat, and uh, yeah, I, I think that this game has a lot of potential. Combat system, lowest point for me. Dealing with the big head, who wants to deal with the big head? I mean, I, I don't know. Even I don't want to deal with the big head. Um, so that's a problem. Uh, the little devils were a little repetitive. The first bad guys, the, the combat just needs to be... Um, improved. I, I could try and brainstorm ways to make it better, but uh, it, it, it... so in terms of the presentation, really good. This little main theme, the sec, bup, 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 that gets a little repetitive. Maybe it needs a few more musical verses to avoid being. It's it's a short loop, so the BGM for the main area could be longer. Um, the humor, highest point. Love the, the quirky writing, love the charming. The charming writing is great. And uh, the presentation, the pixels look good. Um, the music, again, good, but a little repetitive. So I think this is on the right track to be a really uh, top-notch game. I think this, is, this has a lot of potential in it. And uh, it could be really good. It, it needs a little bit more iteration, but... Uh, yeah, I, th I think you're really on to something with this, and it's it's got a lot of personality. Um, so, uh, I will leave it here, and if you want to play it, it's called Cat Powered UFO. The link is in the uh, video description. And, uh, of course, be sure to like and subscribe. If you like big giant heads who make all sorts of nitpicky things. Blah. All right, peace out.